slash podcast episode 116 take one Hi, friends, and welcome back to the sesh. I'm Kendall. Mm, and I'm Janelle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she goes along to the sesh. <laughs> to the sesh. Guys, we are feeling the love because it is February now. Oh, that's Happy nice. Happy February to you all. Feeling the love. Mm-hmm. Do you like Valentine's Day? Are you a Valentine's Day kind of gal? Or do yeah. you think it's cheesy and lame? I don't really have too, too strong of an opinion <laughs> on it. I think people go so hard either way. True. Yeah, I mean, like a- I like chocolate. Sure. I like flowers. Yeah. You what know? are you doing about any plans so far? No. Oh. I told Josh, I, the crowds are annoying to me. I understand. Might as well go the 15th and oh. avoid the crowds. Oh, there you go. You know, Very I told smart. Josh he could make me and squish dinner. Oh, you would. Oh, squish is first Valentine's Day. I know. I'm more excited for that. That's and cute. today, when you guys are watching this, it's February 2nd, right? No yes. idea. February 2nd, <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> My baby turned six months today. Yes. Wow. Yep. Mind blown. Oh my god. Means I'm six months postpartum, which Woo. is really weird to me. It's gone by so fast. Do you feel back to your old self? I do in a lot of ways. Oh, that's nice. I really do. Good. But like a better version of myself. Sure. Truly. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, but you haven't yeah, like totally lost so yourself. Fast. No. <laughs> a lot of people have. Do I seem? No, not at all. I know, yeah. A lot of people say that they like yeah and i can totally see how you could um it can be very a huge adjustment like i said i feel like a completely different person but i'm proud of the woman i am today you know the mother that i am that's right i'm really enjoying motherhood oh i love my baby so much she is so freaking cute she's the best and we're gonna start trying solid food soon and i'm really excited to see what she Mm. likes and doesn't like I feel like that'll give me more insight to her personality watching babies eat food for the first time is so funny because they don't know what to do with it they're like, like yeah that's what she does I anytime do i've let her fuck? lick anything or anything like that you better record her every time oh you know i will yeah, i record yeah, everything this kid does oh but yeah i just was i was recording her in the bath la- bath last night and i realized i think i do this at least every other night i have so many clips of her in the bath <laughs> and it's just the same thing her splashing around she loves the bath oh it's so cute But anyway, guys, today we are here to do a little spicy and some fun games. Yes. I am really excited for this. If you (laughs) missed it a few weeks ago, we played a game where Janelle guessed. Guess that face. Yes. uh, Name Name that that face. Name that face. Yeah. Janelle guessed celebrities and tried to figure out where they were from and who they are. Because if you didn't know, Janelle kind of lives under a rock for real. Um, she never watches movies, doesn't no. watch a lot of TV, so she doesn't know a lot. Sometimes she knows faces, but she doesn't know celebrities' names. No. Turned out to be a really fun game. Yeah. So we decided to do this with all three of us now. Well, Sydney made the game, so yes. she's not partaking in it. But Corelli's going to be guessing football teams in the spirit of the Super Bowl coming up here. Absolutely. Go football. <laughs> and the thing I am most clueless about in the world is cars. So I will be guess- guessing vehicles, Woo! make and model. I'm so yes. excited for <laughs> so this. So it's going to be really fun. I cannot <laughs> wait to get into this game. Sydney has put some serious work into That's producing right. this game for us. Very excited about this freaking game. <laughs> yes. Um, also, by far our most requested topic this week is Lashgate. Mm, mascara gate. Oh my gosh, you guys. This has Ooh. been the most wild topic on the internet Dude, for the it last week. It feels like beauty drama again in 2018. Yeah. Again, all it over again. Definitely is. So yeah, we're going to start out by talking about that. Yeah. Actually, but first, I have something that I want you guys to react to that I just found. Okay. Okay. So this is crazy. I was on Instagram and saw this thing on this like meme page, but I didn't know if it was true or not. So I was like, eh, we'll see. I look it up. Turns out it's true. I'll read you the head ti- the title, T- head headline. The head title. Thank-, thank you very much. <laughs> Boy playing hide and seek found in another country six days later. <laughs> what? <laughs> I am reading this directly off of um, Fox News, by the way. So this is where I'm getting this info here. A Bangladesh boy who accidentally locked himself inside a shipping container during a game of hide and seek was discovered six days later in another country. The 15 year old identified only by his first name, which is Fahim, I think, was playing hide and seek with friends in a port city of Chittagong um, Mm -hmm. on January 11th when he hid inside a shipping container and fell asleep. 
The container was then shipped to Westport, Malaysia on a commercial ship, and the boy was discovered on January 17th. The boy was just believed to have entered the container, fell asleep, and found himself here. <laughs> like he literally went across the country. So did they hear him inside and then opened it up so and found him? There's a video. I'll send it to you guys. Um, oh, there's video. Yeah, there's video of him. Hold on. Let me go. How ahead. did he survive? Yeah, uh, that's what I don't understand. Uh, he was severely dehydrated. Um, but yeah, ended up roughly 2,300 miles from his house or from his home country after what people were initially concerned that he was, he was a victim of human trafficking. Yeah. Um, but no, it looks like it's not. He wandered in the shipping container playing hide and seek. I hate asleep. when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. The worst. <laughs> oh. There's the shipping container. Dude, he must be so confused. Oh, he looks so weak. Oh, you see his mouth all dry? That's so scary. I know. Dude, this poor kid. Wow. Apparently he had a fever and was taken to a nearby hospital for examination. He probably was delirious. Oh, totally. Oh yeah, my God, found, he's so lucky to have survived. After yeah. investigation, found no elements of human trafficking. Isn't that crazy? That is so crazy. What the hell? I wonder what was going through his mind when he first realized he was being shipped. Literally. It's probably pitch black. Oh, yeah. And he, Dude, how terrifying. I wonder if he, he probably did try to scream for help and probably no one heard him. Yeah. Oh, my God. That is so scary. Dude, I know. Six days. Playing hide and seek. He was in incredibly cold. poor condition, but he survived. Damn, that's amazing. I know. So glad he survived. Wow. What a survival! Like what a survival story, though. Too honestly, really? yeah, could you imagine telling that story? He should write a book. That's so interesting. Six days. What did in he do? And imagine like the places your mind would go in six days alone in a box, it's like right. solitary confinement. Well, especially when it's like probably like pitch black and yeah. like and not knowing not where you're knowing. going or if you'll survive. Damn, what an experience. That is wild. Yep. Crazy, huh? That really is. I know. Yeah, he mm. was the only one in that whole shipping container. I mean, shipping containers are huge. I wonder if his family was aware that he was playing hide and seek or were looking for him I in know. that area. Like, did his friends go back and say we were playing hide and seek? We never found him. I know. I'm like trying to find, I keep clicking on all these different things and they don't have very much information. Well, this story is still developing. So by the time this comes out, there could be more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't mm. that wild? That is very interesting. Um. Yeah. And they're, you know, in the process of getting him back home. God, poor dude. I know. It's tough, wild. Tough kid, though. Man. Anyways, just wanted to bring that up because I thought that was absolutely insane. That is. Breaking news. Our friends at Manscaped are now selling beard products, folks. Just in time for Valentine's Day. That's right. The leaders in men's below the waist grooming are once again revolutionizing the men's hygiene game with their new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. No one likes a weird beard, so say goodbye to all your stubble trouble and tame his mane this Valentine's. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit is the ultimate Valentine's gift because you will also be happy with this gift. It starts with the Beard Hedger. This electric beard hair trimmer is a premium beard sculpting machine. First off, this cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel with 20 hair cutting lengths, all with one guard, so no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons. And the Beard Hedger Pro Kit doesn't end there. They have created four dermatologist tested formulations for his post-trim hygiene. First, there's the beard shampoo and conditioner. And you need to remember, your man's hair is different. Beard hair is more coarse and easier to damage than the hair on his head. That's why the kit has made shampoo and conditioner specially designed to moisturize, reduce ingrown hairs, replace natural oils, and promote beard health. Next, the kit has Manscaped's Beard Oil. No one wants a guy whose beard is brittle and dry. The oil relieves dryness both on the beard and on the skin beneath, while adding a little shimmer and shine, making him look extra fine. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit also comes with three free gifts, a beard brush, comb, and scissors to ensure he has all the tools for a perfect beard. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code SESH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at Manscaped and use code SESH. Manscaped Beard Hedger, one stroke, one guard, 20 lengths. 
Okay, so this has definitely been the biggest thing going on on the interwebs the last week. And keep in mind, we do record this on Mondays and it goes live on Thursdays. So when we are recording this, Michaela has not yet responded. But if she does, we might make a little breaking news segment mm -hmm. and talk about that as well. So, you guys, <laughs> this is the craziest shit I've seen My in a long time. entire TikTok feed is filled with this. Yes, I can't me watch, too. There's nothing else... Mm -hmm. that pops up when I'm scrolling. It's been wild. I mean, and the reaction I think is understandable considering this whole situation. Let's explain it for people yeah. who don't know. So we actually talked about Michaela just a few weeks ago here on the sesh. We were talking about Morphe and how they had built their whole brand mm -hmm. on influencers and Collabing collaborations. And we talked about how that has kind of, you know, that ship has sailed. A little bit. People are not as into that anymore. And, and we were just talking about how, you know, the average makeup YouTuber has is just not the same no. as it used to be. And how it's all about TikTok now and how there's authenticity. I think we actually <laughs> brought her up in that sense <laughs> oh, of like no. how when we're looking for reviews, we're looking for just an average person on TikTok. Oh, yeah. You mentioned how you used to watch something you know the biggest creator at the time when you wanted a review but now when you want to review mm -hmm. you go to someone who you try and find someone who has little views yes. so that you know that it's authentic because and a lot of times nowadays people are being paid to talk about things which is fine get your coin obviously mm -hmm. we have sponsors on this podcast so it's yeah, not like we're hating on people who have sponsors part by of being means. in this business no absolutely not um but we brought up Michaela in the no. sense that we really enjoy how authentic she is <laughs> no. and real in a yeah. world of fake. And wow. Oh, no. You're making us look really bad here, Michaela. Okay. It, Thanks very much. If you don't know who Michaela is, she started in 2020 um, making TikToks and has completely blown up. She has over 14 yeah. million followers. That is nuts. Yeah. And mind you, like we said, started in 2020. So in uh, less than three years has blown up. Yeah, she really has. And is like, I would say in the top three makeup oh, TikTokers, if not sure. the top one, honestly. Yeah, or just makeup influencers in general across yeah, the web. True. Um, I've always listened to Michaela's videos. I buy tons of products based on her reviews. I've always appreciated her authenticity, her realness, uh, I find her accent really entertaining. I think a lot of people, I think that's what's very eye-catching about her is mm -hmm. when you scroll past and you hear her voice, it's just like, oh. It's, Something different. Yeah, totally. Um, and I've really appreciated, you know, to give her some credit, her being very open with her mental health struggles, talking about her eating disorder and uh, body dysmorphia. And I've related to a lot of the things that she says. So I've always thought I can really take her word for this. In fact, she just posted... A little while ago like her best of beauty review mm -hmm. for the whole year and i bought like six of the products really? that she mentioned yeah <laughs> i like stocked up I'm, i literally leaned over to josh and i was like i'm buying everything she says <laughs> i literally just filled my cart and and a lot of the things that she was recommending were sold out and that's oh, a yeah. common thing with michaela she'll talk about something make it go viral and it will sell the fuck out and i yep. think that's what she was going for here so now our thoughts have changed on Michaela quite a bit. And before we get into it, I do want to say, yes, we are talking about this. And yes, this is a big problem. This is, I think, an important issue in the influencer space. Yeah. And um, But there's a bigger picture here that we're going to be covering. Yes, yes. And I don't, I really want people to try to control yourself to some degree in the comments. I mean, we don't need to get mean. Some of the things that are being said about her and sent to her, um, you know death threats and, that's horrific yeah it like can, it's makeup yeah all right at the end of the day this she is lied 100 she deserved to be called out but like she's got enough yeah. you don't need to dogpile her and on her anymore but no you guys did request that we talk about this and it yeah it's it's a huge story right now right so let's see the video before we even yes. get into what happened and this was posted january 25th yes you this literally just changed my life this looks like false light. This is how? What? <laughs> it's this L'Oreal telescopic lift. Look at the wand. Okay, so basically I'm taking the curved side and I'm going root to tip and I'm satin to coat the lashes. And then once you've done that, you flip the brush to the side and you use the hook comb to basically separate. This is one coat. 
Okay, I'm gonna add a second. Look at the length. Do you see that? I am speechless, and I'm not sure anyone's gonna ever be able to compete with this mascara. I don't think they will. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think so either. Uh, so yeah, this mascara has been around for a minute, actually. This is a new variation of the same mascara. I was using this back in like 2014 or something. Yeah, Tall Scoff has been around forever. This yeah. is one of my favorite mascaras. Uh, yeah. like the test like the original one like the black one yeah that one is like the best for your bottom lashes i always liked it and before i, I went cruelty free so i don't buy l'oreal anymore but i always thought it was a good mascara and people are saying it's a great mascara and that's why like why was this why did you need to do this so if you didn't catch it and you haven't heard what's going on michaela clearly i think fucking without a doubt put on fake lashes after she applies this second coat i mean there i don't think there's any thing to question here this is not alleged she she did 1000 <laughs> percent. there are false lashes on her eyes yeah it's pretty um, obvious so looking at them a lot of people are saying ardell demi wispy could be i think it's the individual lashes yeah, that's what i'm thinking mm -hmm. the ardell like they're not even one single lash it's like little tiny clumps of like five together and you like can place them on throughout your eyelid mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. what i think it is yeah i think that's what makes you can sense. even see the little bit of the band at the on the end of her eye Dude, you really can't. Yeah, on the outer corner of her eye, it seems like there's more lashes where the lash line stops, which is, in my opinion, a clear indication of And then just so lashes. much more. So many more. This and is so unbelievably obvious that I'm shocked she even had the balls to do this. And here's the thing that I think really tells you is when you're putting mascara on over and over again, like anyone who uses mascara mm -hmm. knows that, your lashes get clumpier and mm -hmm. more thick as you put more quotes on not they don't get like wispy like a fake lash does mm -hmm. a lot of the time so if you look at her picture here you can clearly see that er, the ones on the bottom are her chunky real lashes you can tell there's product on them they kind of clump together and then on top all of a sudden there's like super super thin wispy looking lashes and i'm like where did those come from <laughs> because again the more coats you put on the <laughs> clumpier and more spidery your eyes get that's just how mascara works dude this is absolutely absurd this comparison here this before and after just i th just find it hilarious like what the fuck was she thinking people were really gonna fall for this she posted this to millions of people who are all beauty fans right right i mean if anyone they're gonna notice it. i'm just what the hell were you thinking doing this and so what makes this so much yeah. worse is mm -hmm. that this is a sponsored post. I mean, this would be one thing. Everyone's fake, right? Everyone uses filters. People put on false lashes. And, you know, there are people that do makeup tutorials and... The beauty filter on the whole time. Yeah, like, okay, yes. what I look like. And <laughs> Right. We know that this happens, but it, it's especially bad when you are lying about the results of a product that you are being paid to promote. That is just... First of all it's illegal so we'll be going over that as well but just and she didn't even really disclose that it was sponsored all she no. wrote was hashtag a uh, l'oreal partner yeah which i don't really know if that's enough or if she should have been like hashtag ad or a lot of times you put like on the screen hashtag ad or something i don't really know exactly how tiktok works whenever stuff, we but... do any sponsorships um whether that's social media youtube podcast you guys we know. always say this is sponsored by it's clear that it's a sponsor. It shouldn't be this little thing to try to deceive your audience, which is clearly what was being done here. And she didn't just put that in the caption. She also flashed it on the screen, but it's behind, um, if you have captions on, on oh, TikTok, yeah. it's behind that. And it's only there for a couple of and seconds. it's tiny and white. And I don't think a lot of people know what L'Oreal Paris Partner means, you know, or they might think, oh, you get free product or I, I work with this brand or I, no, I don't know. No, you're getting a kickback and major someone like Michaela I don't know the the details of her deal but I'm telling you this was a lot a lot of money yeah someone with that many followers and that much of an influence is getting paid hella money so obviously people figured this out pretty quick and she started getting comments like girl did you add falsies at the end we can see the length on the outer corner and she literally doubles down <laughs> and continues to lie says no just three or four coats and my tight liner um she responded to someone else she, they said wait are you not wearing falsies at the end and she says no oh my god <laughs> oh my god. would never allow that in a partnered post but y'all proving my point girl are you fucking serious there was one that was even like 
she posted something along the lines of these comments are just um like showing how amazing this product actually is or something yeah. and yeah i mean it's just that just made all of this 10 times worse that you were called out for lying and you still continue to lie lie to their faces <laughs> it's sad because you are made because of all of these followers who trust you who mm -hmm. buy things because of you and think that you're telling them the truth and you're trying to trick them i mean do you think they're a bunch of fucking idiots right it's insulting it is it's insulting especially because you said the people who watch her the majority of them are really into makeup Mm -hmm. so you know who are you trying to trick if you, maybe if you were doing a video about i don't know a computer part or something you mm -hmm. would be able to get away with it because people aren't people who are watching this are not experts in computers but people who are watching this are maybe not experts but beauty enthusiasts yes. and are really into makeup and tons of makeup artists right so why would you be lying to those to that demographic and that's really the question here is why is she lying what is the incentive to her because if you do a sponsorship normally you just get an upfront fee yeah you do the ad and that's it yeah so why why would you put your career on the line to sell this mascara well because usually what happens is no matter like, you get paid to promote something if it's sponsored and no matter how it performs you're still getting paid that same amount typically mm -hmm. is how it works yes it's not like oh well if you sell a hundred units versus a thousand units you'll only make 70 percent that's yeah. more like codes and stuff but yes again we don't exactly know what her like deal is so we mm -hmm. think what if it was okay she gets paid to put out the video whatever but mm -hmm. it's like yo michaela if you can clear the shelves we'll give you another which she 50 does grand or something yeah you know and so does that make it more pressure to be like okay i have to really sell this product and make it look like the greatest mascara that's ever fucking walked the earth <laughs> <laughs> but i'm wondering how would they be able to measure what sales Michaela did because this is a huge campaign that they're doing with mm -hmm. multiple influencers exactly. there's there's several different people who have been sponsored and done the same review and had very different results than Michaela so how would they be able to measure how much she actually individually sold yeah. so what is the incentive because I have been offered sponsorships in the past where it's like you know if you sell a certain amount or people use your code x amount of times and I never take those deals because I just feel like it's sketchy and weird you know like if you, you if you hit a certain milestone you'll get more yes like some type of bonus or yeah. something like that so I'm, I'm not familiar with how those deals actually work or how they calculate something like that especially when this is a drugstore product and people are just gonna That's go what buy I'm it saying. it's not like it was like go to l'oreal.com slash michaela's mascara and then all of a sudden like okay we'll <laughs> use her code at the checkout at right. walgreens exactly how do you actually um measure this and that's why i just which makes me even more confused of like okay so it's probably not the fact that okay Michaela you get extra bonus if you can sell this really well because again how would you measure that so what is the point yes of the lie what is the motive here you I mean when you lose your authenticity and you're caught lying as an influencer dude I don't know where you go from here I'm so disappointed because I really liked Michaela and you know I hope she learns from this big big mistake lying is not a good look um i do feel for her that she's getting so much hate because i know she does struggle with her mental health and that can't be good but lying like this man and then straight up lying to people back in the comments is just so disappointing i'm just sad because i really i really liked her and i really liked her reviews i think she's very talented with makeup and i just don't there was no need to lie it's a good mascara it looked good before the the falsy so why do this why i just want to know why I, I just feel like even if you want to be able to show how good i would if i were her i'd be like and then guys i popped a little falsy on top yeah. and look at it even turn it up a notch the mascara falsy combo is mm -hmm. fire like you mm -hmm. guys gotta go out and get this i would still like i feel like people would still go out and buy it yes oh absolutely you know what i mean i mean l'oreal probably wouldn't like that but well if it wasn't sponsored yeah i don't again i don't really know like because how did it get approved though? how did it right how did it get approved yeah, that's the other big question is did l'oreal just miss this was it someone that did just quickly it, reviewed yeah. it are they looking for other things and just checking for you know guidelines being followed to a bare fucking minimum and making sure it looks good and that it's facing the right direction it looks mm -hmm. clear whatever and they just completely <laughs> forgot or did they see that and they're like oh nice we do this all the did time they, do you think it's possible they asked her i think that would be 
of course, anything's possible. I wouldn't put it past a giant corporation like L'Oreal, but I think that would be very, very stupid because if she were to come forward with that or if that was taken into a court of law, that'd be a big fucking problem. You cannot have influencers lie. Sometimes you don't have to have approval for a sponsor. I have never not had to get something approved. We don't get approved for like podcasts. Like we're sending them these That's all the true. time. That's true. Yeah, we don't. You know, that is that is a good point. They yeah, might I have forgot. signed some type of contract where it's like, okay, you mention the hashtag L'Oreal partner six times in the next 12 months and that's mm -hmm. the, and that's it. You know, I don't know mm. exactly how that works, but yeah, that's true. I wonder if it for sure had to be. Um, it is different with podcasting yeah, versus how, YouTube yeah, and sure. TikTok. But I mean, I've never done anything on social media or YouTube that wasn't approved by a brand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this whole thing is much worse than it already sounds because of the fact that a few months ago, Michaela posted a different mascara video and you know what? Let's just watch it because this bro, <laughs> this, this is so bad. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. It truly did a phenomenal job. I mean, literally just look at the difference. So I just lied straight to your face and you probably believed it. These lashes <laughs> totally fake. And that's what brands do. They lie to you about how things work. Would you have known these were false lashes? Maybe not. You are someone who doesn't have a lot of lashes, doesn't know how to apply lashes, or just wants a little lash lift, this video is for you. Out the gate, let's start by applying two coats to your favorite mascara. We want to achieve the fuller lash look. We're going to use the Kiss Lash Couture That's what I'm talking full about. Full lash. Yeah. That's exactly what she did. Yeah. What? That age the like milk. fuck? What was she thinking? And knowing that she had posted this before and she still did this? This is why I kept going back. I don't know because now i'm like pretty convinced but at first i was like bro i don't know maybe she's not lying maybe somehow her lashes just look like that <laughs> no 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 that, though, like what the fuck there's no way um actually we have this TikTok from og youtuber yeah. cassandra bankson i used to follow her oh man in my early college days before i even got started on youtube um she is a photoshop whiz and she's known for breaking down um false advertising mm -hmm. in the modeling industry so i mean she proves it there's no doubt these are fake isolated the eye area i tried to crop it about so the she's same literally and i went to photoshop get one from herself. before um the mascara and one from after the multiple coats trying to get the eye in the same direction with the pupil aligned was really difficult but i ended up kind of twerking it just to make sure that i was able to adjust it so that you could change basically the transparency and you could overlay one image on the other. But I then wanted to go in and actually isolate the lashes because I wanted to see, are the lashes the same or are they different? If you added multiple coats, they should be different. But what I actually did was change the hue and saturation so that you could actually see where the lashes were. And when you overlay the after from the before, you can literally drag it in and see where the false lashes were applied. Mm. I mean, Again, I love Michaela and her right? reviews. I trusted a lot of what she said, uh, but this is some beauty industry BS. Oh, it's so disappointing. I don't know what she was thinking for real. This is this is so bad. Her career is never going to be the same. Yeah, it's and wild. on a more serious note, the legal issues of this video are. I mean, there's a lot here. So we found this uh, tweet, a thread from Rob Frund. He's a lawyer for brands, agencies, and influencers, and he discusses the legal issues from an FTC compliance standpoint, which the FTC is no fucking joke, and I would not, well, I'm almost a thousand percent pos uh, positive at this point they're going to come after her, and there will be some type of at Why? least follow up from them or fine. I think she should be fined for this. But I'm so confused. When you have that many followers, don't you have a lawyer to tell you, like, don't fucking do that, bro? I don't know. Clearly not. <laughs> clearly <laughs> not like <laughs> no yeah because yeah it's it's no joke false advertising is a big deal yeah rob says i see two main issues here ineffective disclosure of the sponsored nature of the content and false or misleading claims in the endorsement so the ftc requires that any material connection between an endorser or you know an influencer and the advertiser aka l'oreal must be disclosed clearly and conspicuously Otherwise, the ad is deceptive and violates Section 5 of the FTC Act. The disclosure requirement is why we have hashtag ad and the like. The material connection is any relationship that might affect the weight or credibility the audience would give the endorsement. Idea being, if you knew the review was paid for, you consider that when deciding to buy or not to buy. Um, but it's not enough just to have the disclosure. It's also 
must be clear and conspicuous, which basically means that you can't miss it. So like we were saying, she had it kind of like hidden, which is just so tasteless anyway. Why? Why do that? Just be honest. People understand that sponsor doesn't mean you are lacking. Well, clearly you're lacking authenticity here, but why not just disclose it? Yeah. He says here, the L'Oreal Paris partner disclosure is in very small font and appears for just a few seconds of the video. And that to me is not clear and conspicuous. And I would bet that the FTC would kind of feel the same way. It says now for the fake lashes, the FTC requires that all advertising must be truthful, not misleading and substantiated. In the influencer context, that means that all endorsements must reflect the honest beliefs of the influencer who must have actually used the product. Here, Michaela claims she's demonstrating the effect of the mascara and expresses her disbelief. But if the lashes were fake, she's not giving an honest review and that violates the law. Remember, that's not just the influencer who's potentially liable for the violations of the FTC Act. The brand is too. That's why it's critically important for brands to have monitoring and compliance programs in place for all influencer campaigns. Finally, I expect that L'Oreal's agreement, including requirements that the influencer will comply with FTC's endorsement guides, so it's likely she breached that contract. Yeah. If your brand is not using properly drafted agreements with your influencers, fix that today. And if you're a creator, don't gloss over your agreements. Make sure you understand everything in them before you sign. She's in a lot of trouble here, and L'Oreal probably is too. And I think, you know, most of the criticism is going towards her, but I think L'Oreal deserves more of it. Oh, so someone responds to him and goes, it's clearly flagged as paid partnership. You know, on TikTok, it has that little thing right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Um, It appears, he says, it appears she added that badge after this thread was posted, which is 100% correct, because I saw this Mm -hmm. when it just was like, Yes, it literally just went up before anyone really even gave a shit about it. And that was not there. And there there had to be some type of bonus or something for her to do this, because what is the point? Why would why? I know. Well, it's interesting to me that like other influencers like Bretman Walk, Bretman Walk, (laughs) Bretman (laughs) Rock, he was also part of this campaign, too. And he posted about it. And like, I mean, I don't know if you guys watched his. um, Yes, his review. But his was like, you know, simple, simple to the point. You know what I mean? Yep. And it's like. I just don't understand if they have like the same assignment, how mm-hmm. hers ended up the way it did and Bretman's. And then there was also this other person called Fe- uh, Father Lex and Soap Does Life. Both of their, or all three of theirs were like very normal. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, you just know, a straight review. review. Yeah. Regular mascara. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the point of that was. Yeah, I don't either. What was the point of that? I don't know. Why are you lying? Why are you Because you're not lying. getting anything from it. Or she is. But how, like you said, how do you measure that? Yeah, how do you when measure this it? campaign, it's not just her, it's a bunch of other people. Maybe it's a certain amount of views, though. It could be something like that where it's like so amazing that it, it goes viral, that people are just so wild by the mascara. I don't know. That's the only thing I can True. think of. I don't know a lot about TikTok, so I don't know how sponsorships yeah. work on there. But Same. yeah, it's it's pretty shocking and very disappointing, um, especially when there are so many honest people out there who take this seriously and really want to help give authentic reviews, especially in this economy, to be lying to your followers this like this. Economy? I'm serious. I it's know. fucked up. Like, what? just why? I can't stop saying why because I don't understand why it doesn't you imploded, make sense. Um, imploded your whole career. It does um, not make sense. It does not. And God, I just, I just want to know where she's even going to go from here. She has to address this. She has to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And what's crazy is now this mascara is selling out. This has been, I don't know if it's legally good for the brand, but as far as sales go, this has been good for them. Totally. This thing has sold out all over the place. Yeah, it can't get anywhere. So many people have reviewed it now. Manny MUA, James Charles, uh, Jeffree Star. Um, oh, so many people, dude. And everyone wants to know, is it really that good? And it, honestly, it's a good mascara, it looks like, from the real reviews of it. Yeah, I used it today. These are just my natural lashes. Let me know what you think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are very fake. Uh, I just don't, especially when you're on TikTok and it's that close up, to just lie like that to millions of people. Well, especially when literally like the campaign photos for the mascara don't even look like her no. lashes. You know what I mean? Yeah, they don't. Which, okay, brings us to our next topic. It's kind of like the bigger picture mm-hmm. of this is L'Oreal itself ha- has had a history of false advertising. Yeah. So maybe they are in on it well that's the thing a lot of people are bringing up too is could they have purposely done this do you think it in my opinion no but do you think it's possible that this was like a planned stunt that they knew that whatever this is would go viral and 
I don't know why they would do that, though. It seems stupid as fuck. Like, planned to have people call her out? Yeah, planned to have her use false but lashes. why would knew she that agree this would to happen. that? I know. Why would she? Because even then... Well, she's paid a lot. I but... was thinking that, and then, you know, what if they come out like, ha, oh, we tricked you. Like, this just goes to show false advertising is crazy or something. Mm-hmm. But then how do you prove that that was your plan all along unless you have, like, a document or something? But yeah. Then, like, she probably would have... I don't know. No, there, there's just no digging out of this. I mean, it's just a straight lie. So yeah, L'Oreal is not new to lying. No. That's for sure. Yeah, back in 2007, L'Oreal ran an ad for the same telescopic mascara starring Penelope Cruz, who I don't know who that is. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Dead ass. I've heard of the name. Dead Dude. Ass. Janelle the alien for real. The, which people think I'm lying. I'm not, I swear. The L'Oreal mascara advertisements were banned in the UK for misleading information. Mm-hmm. In the commercial, L'Oreal claims 60% longer lashes in definition, lash by lash. The secret to this apparently is the high precision flexible brush that separates the lashes with precision for intensity lash by lash. The flexible brush lengthens your lashes for telescopic length. The Advertising Standards Authority or the ASA in the UK received complaints from customers who believed the actress's eyelashes had been enhanced by fake eyelashes, arguing that the advertisements were misleading and they exaggerated the effect they could be achieved (laughs) by the use of the mascara on its own. Dude, no doubt. Look at this. Look at this. L'Oreal admitted that Penelope Cruz is wearing a few lash inserts <laughs> into her a natural just lashes. Just a few on just each to fill lash. The gaps. That's so fucking this is, obvious. Again, this is like a this is offensive to people's intelligence. I mean, seriously, anyone who even if you're not into makeup, you can look at that and know that those aren't real lashes. Yeah. <laughs> After an investigation, uh, it was found that L'Oreal was in violation of the advertising rules, and they argue that its telescopic mascara could make lashes appear up to 60% longer regardless if they are real or fake. Mm-hmm. And the ASA said, we conclude that in absence of a disclaimer, stating that Penelope Cruz is wearing a few individual mm-hmm. false lashes added to her natural lashes, nevertheless exaggerated the effect that could be achieved by using the mascara on natural lashes. So yeah, you can use false lashes, but it has to be disclosed. Even if it's that like really small at the mm-hmm. bottom. Mm-hmm. Because let's be real. And I've been sucking into this so many times, haven't we all? We've all been sucking. So watching some fucking TV and these stupid asses come on TV and they're like, <laughs> oh my God, look at my lashes. And they're like, and they're like yeah. insane and perfect and separated perfectly and not clumpy <laughs> and curled perfectly and all this shit. And then you buy it. And then I go out and I'm like, oh fuck, I need that. And I go out and buy it. And then mm-hmm. I put it on my lashes. So I'm like, where the hell is this? It's got, it's got spider lashes. Well, that's the whole point of the influencer, right? Is to break through that barrier and be the real right. review. Like who are you mo- more likely to buy something from? Like someone at Sephora trying right. to sell you something exactly. or a friend who tells you, oh my God, dude, this is this product you gotta use is so good. You're going to believe your friend. And so that's what the influencer is supposed to be is someone who's like your friend, who won't steer you wrong, who won't lie to you. And that's the whole idea is, you know, people start watching creators and then they become to like their personalities. Mm -hmm. It's worth a lot more for someone who you feel like you quote unquote know personally to tell you to go buy this product than if some rando on the TV was telling you to go buy it. And that's why they get paid big, 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 big. And so many people have made the argument of like, everything's fake anyway. This is how it is on TV. Which, and this is what we're used to. And like, why is anyone surprised? It's I, very, very different. I can see it to an extent of like, are we surprised that people are lying? Because everything online seems to be so fake. But I guess it's just different when, yeah, it's someone that you feel like you watch and you know personally. Right. On someone whose whole career has is based off of like doing reviews like this and like doing Mm -hmm. like transparent reviews quote unquote you know what i mean Mm -hmm. not anymore i'm so disappointed can you because people are like okay well whatever don't trust her anymore for something that she's promoting but can you could you look past that and still watch her just for her content just because you like her as a person because she talks about mental health because she talks about body dysmorphia and being someone who you know maybe doesn't have like the doesn't fit the traditional beauty standards that society has put out but is out there at being you know trying to break those and be like everyone's beautiful and women should be empowered no matter what they look like can you look past this and still see her for for her good not right now okay i'm just curious i think maybe with time but i think it is so hurtful i feel hurt as a follower seriously i don't even know how to describe it i don't want to like dogpile on her anymore but 
it's it's very disappointing and i don't know if i could take anything she says seriously especially regarding makeup it makes me question if you're willing to lie like that like just your character overall yeah you know that's just well it's, it's, it's sad an, to me i what, think money like really got it got to her you know what i have the problem with is i feel like because she is so well known as an influencer that now people are just going to think all influencers are like this yes and that's why it's and especially that's frustrating hurtful. because i feel like a lot of people you know you and i we turn down sponsors for this podcast oh. like fucking all the time Dude, we get some shit yeah. i'm like i would n never use that as stupid as fuck we whatever. turn down probably like half our advertisers yeah and i talk about things that i genuinely think that yes you guys watching would like mm -hmm. and that i would like and that i'm interested in and we don't lie about our results right <laughs> or put in a fake product I know. to sell something it's just like it's mind-blowing to me but it's frustrating that someone would actually do this especially at her size yeah that's what's so irritating is i feel like she's kind of put a stain on everyone who is an advertising yeah in, in the like she's hurting Content all creators creator space yeah people have to understand it's a bigger issue than just some false lashes and it's makeup so whatever no it's a it's a bigger deal than that oh it makes me mad the whole thing makes me mad yeah it's really it's like it's really annoying dude and i really really liked her tiktoks i really did okay we actually have some examples here of commercials with false lashes versus no mention of false lashes because like we said that you have to mention it and I just think it's interesting to kind of watch it is. the comparison of the two. Mm -hmm. The amount of commercials that like use false lashes. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, I there was barely any, and mm -hmm. it, they not say surprised. they're not wearing them, but then it's I don't know. So you'll see, but they seem a little bit enhanced. Even not even like false, but like enhanced. Computer you know, enhanced. Yeah, computer enhanced. Yeah. So because mm. I never really thought about that when I was like watching TV, and I'm like, oh, those are so long mm -hmm. i like, totally believed that, that that's just weird yeah i'm definitely gonna be looking out for disclosures more in the future yeah now that i know more about this i mean i always knew things were fake i just didn't know the you know the legality behind it and if they had to disclose it or not mm -hmm. okay let's see this this is a rimmel mascara ad starring um cara delvine delavine scandalized Oh, I remember that. This that was one. the ad. I thought that was too. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Hell yeah. Oh, come on. I was going to say, come oh. the fuck on. Wow, action movie. Settle down. <laughs> Mascara. It's like a lot Simmer of work. Down. A lot of people involved. Just get banned. Unstoppable. Dude, look at those. Oh my god. Wait, where's the uh? Where's the uh? From Rimmel. Unstoppable. Okay. So this one actually got banned. Mm-hmm. Because they didn't disclose. Tried to pull a fast one. Okay. How about this Maybelline for Volume Express, the Rocket. Sorry. Three, two, one. Countdown to our most exclusive smooth lashes. Dramatization, <laughs> lash insert versus bare lashes. You can see at the bottom. Eight, eight times volume. How do they get that? Volume. Dramatization. Eight times bigger. Versus bare lashes. The rocket. Let us medley. Wow. Wait, I missed that. I didn't even see that. It's quick. Was that yeah, one banned quick. too? No, because they disclosed. Oh, they disclosed it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think the huge difference here too is we we all kind of expect the fakeness from these brands. We all, for the most part, know that a Rimmel mascara isn't going to give you lashes like that. Mm -hmm. We know it's a little of the movie magic that mm -hmm. they're they're pulling here or false lashes. There's makeup artists on set. We all kind of know that, but it's different coming from an influencer, and that's why it hurts more is because it's all based on trust. Exactly. Okay, wait. I do want to watch the two down here with no mention of false lashes used and see what they look like. If it looks more natural, this is from Lancome Lash Lift. Wow. Your lash goals. Lash Idol, a next Edol. generation mascara to volumize every oh, single wow. lash with a Much feather light formula though. to unleash luscious, yeah, fanned out like volume. Yeah, for sure. See they it. Just look like they were Believe done by it. A makeup artist. The new yeah, mascara. And, and I know. Perfect. Lash Idol, the Why new lash lifting volumizing mascara. 
Yeah. Yep. Those definitely look real. Okay, so this is benefit. They're real mascara. They better be fucking real. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, those look much more natural. Yeah, I just don't know how she's going to respond to this. You Me know, what's she going to say? Breaking news! Michaela has posted. It is Wednesday morning, folks. Yes. And yeah, she, um, after being silent for... At least a week. I think like so. Like a week and a couple days. Really? That long? I thought it was like five days. I think days. it was... No, I'm pretty sure this was posted like Sunday or Monday of last week. It was week. a week ago. Yeah, it's definitely at about least a week ago. <laughs> yeah, about um, a week ago for sure. Silence. Uh, she has posted, as far as we can tell, three videos. Or yeah. I actually think she just posted another one. Um, really? All, yeah, it's like her taking off the makeup. Hmm. Anyways, it's um, Valentine's Day makeup looks, or just a look that's in multiple parts of her doing it. And she pretty much doesn't address it. No, no, she does not address well, it. She kind of like, hints at the elephant in the room yeah i mean it's clear that she's aware of what's going on i mean how could she not be and she starts out the video saying all right we all know why we're gathered here today it's valentine's she's like, it's day it's valentine's day um so yeah lots of mixed opinions on this whole situation overall on the internet i do get where people are coming from there's a lot of people just saying whatever move on it's just makeup it's just mascara does it matter and there's a lot of people who are really angry and expected a response and feel like she's just blowing it off but at this point it's hard to say if she's even able to make mm -hmm. a reply regarding this situation i personally feel like even if l'oreal is telling her to hold back or for legal reasons she can't post about it i think she could at least address it and say I'm aware that there is a situation going on and I will be. And I can't speak on it. I can't speak reasons. on it right now, but I will eventually. Unless she's planning to just blow past it, which is quite possible because I don't think she can really address it without admitting that she lied. Mm -hmm. I mean, she lied. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about that. She lied. I personally think that when this kind of, you know, the time passes, um, I think she'll be able to just kind of move past it like there i think she'll still have lots of followers she'll probably lose some some people will probably unsubscribe or unfollow her um but i think overall she has a big enough platform i think she will probably get away with this if she chooses not to address it it's just my opinion though i agree i think she'll be able to bounce back i think that's unfortunate that that's the way things are um but yeah that's the reality of it people will move past this and a lot of people a lot of people already have yeah. like tons of the comments were like unbothered queen people like that and i think that's disappointing that people don't value honesty or don't understand that this is not just a little mascara whatever this is she broke the law i mean it's serious allegedly okay she allegedly <laughs> broke the law but lying i mean it's against um ftc compliance mm -hmm. and it is a big deal it's false advertising it's extremely deceptive deceptive i'm very disappointed i do understand what people are saying that it is mascara yeah, and there are bigger problems argument. in the world Definitely. but i do think you can focus on more than one problem sure at a time um and i do think it's frustrating especially as an influencer i think building your career off honesty is is huge and this was very disappointing um i'm not shocked that she just blew past it though because what else is she supposed to True. do at this point because yeah, people will clearly... rip her apart for an apology, either oh, yeah. no matter what she says. Yeah, absolutely. But I think she needs to address it eventually. I think L'Oreal needs to address it too. Oh, I highly doubt they will. Oh, I, I pretty doubt much it too. That will never they happen. They probably won't. But it'd be great if we lived in a different type of world. <laughs> yeah, I don't think L'Oreal really gives a fuck. In fact, no. I honestly think that they are probably low-key happy this happened because oh, yeah. they've gotten more huge. attention than they have had in years. Unless they actually do face legal issues, then I'm not sure how that would work. Yeah. So we it's probably worth the fine. The fine yeah, can't be worth as much. I mean, the fine is not going to be as much as they made in profits from this whole fucking shenanigan. Right. Yeah. So... Yeah, I definitely want to hear your opinions on it. Um, I know people are very mixed 
some people take this really seriously some people are like whatever Mm -hmm. don't care people lie Mm -hmm. and we like liars so (laughs) (laughs) i'm frustrated by it yeah (laughs) i am disappointed as a fan of michaela oh Oh. just spilled a candle that's lovely yeah i i would have liked to see her at least acknowledge that something has happened here and that she will be addressing it but at this point who knows if she even will yeah a lot of people just move past their bullshit so we'll that's see. that yeah let us know your thoughts below in the comments what is your love language is it physical touch how about spending time together with your partner people get turned on in all sorts of ways and dipsy has invented a whole new love language with sexy stories for whatever you're in the mood for dipsy is an app full of hundreds of short sexy audio stories designed by women for women they bring scenarios to life with immersive soundscapes and realistic characters Discover stories about second chance romances, adventurous vacation flings, and a hot, heavy hookup. And Dipsy is very inclusive. They have something for everyone. And you've never heard celebrities like this before. Listen to stories voiced by ER Fightmaster, Luke Cook, and more. And new content is released every week. So in between listening to your favorite stories again and again, you can always find something new to explore. And they don't just have audio stories, they also have soothing sleep stories, wellness sessions, and sexy stories that you can read. Let Dipsy be your go-to place to spice up your me time, explore your fantasies, relax and unwind, or heat things up with a partner. And for listeners of the show, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com sesh. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to d-i-p-s-e-a stories.com slash sesh. dipsystories.com slash sesh. All right, on a more fun note, it is now time to play Name That Face slash Name That Football Team slash Name That Car. Woo! <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, who's going first? Kendall's going first. Oh, I'm going for- Oh, God, you guys, full warning. I am absolutely clueless when it go when it comes to cars. It's all good. I was just telling Sydney and Janelle, there have... So Josh got a new truck this year, and there have been three times... Oh, three times. Three times already ah. Where he is parked outside of a Walgreens or something, and I come out to the parking lot and I go to the wrong truck. I'm like <laughs> trying to open the door, and then he's honking at me like, "Idiot! That's not even the right model. That's a <laughs> Ford." Oh my god! <laughs> I am just purely, purely clueless with cars. Terrible with cars. Well, terrible we'll driver. Here. We'll see here. Kendall, I think he has a Ford actually. No, he doesn't. Oh no, he has a GMC. Thank you. Yeah, or... I almost said a Ram, but <laughs> <laughs> nope. Okay. Show me the first car. So if you can just get the make, that's okay. one point. If you can get the model as well, you get another half or some shit. Yeah, bonus point. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, go ahead and look. This is going to be so hard. Damn. Okay, so it's boxy. I will have to guess. <laughs> oh, my God. You better get this. Is this a This is a Mercedes G-Wagon. Woo! right okay okay Okay. you're like that's the only one i'm gonna get (laughs) yeah it probably is because it's so recognizable okay very good yay very good what do i get a point and a point and a half yeah because you got mercedes and it's a g wagon so you get a half or two two points two points excellent oh two points great job kendall nice all right moving to the next okay (laughs) oh okay actually i think i know what this is because of the uh the windshield Mm. I think this is a Tesla. Very good. Model? You know model? <laughs> no idea. That's right. A Tesla T5? Nope. <laughs> Close enough. T5. I'm kidding. Model what is Y. It? Model Y. Never heard of it. <laughs> Don't know her. I just know the the cool windshields. The cool <laughs> windshields. Yeah, I know how they have like go all the way back. So Very I get good. what one point for that? Mhm. All right, not not bad so far. Okay, how about this one? Okay, this is a Dodge Charger. <laughs> wow. You know what? I give you A for effort because I think this <laughs> and th- what this actually is in Dodge's uh, look very similar. So, okay, so it's yeah. not a, even a Dodge? Incorrect. It is not. Okay, can I get a second guess for no points? Sure. It looks annoying. I don't like this car. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Sorry to all you who drive those out there. Not a fan personally. Mm, I'm going to guess a Ford. Oh, wow. Really? Yes. Oh, it's a Ford? Yeah, come on. You can guess the second a part. Ford. You got this. Mustang. What the? Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Got okay, it right. Well, sadly, I get no points. Okay. So I guess Dodge it is Charger. A Ford, Mustang. a Ford Mustang. Okay. Great yes, job. I do know about those. <laughs> Good job. Here we are. Okay. This is a 
Damn, I'm stuck between a Jeep and a Kia. Okay. Jeep and a Kia? I'm going to go with a Jeep Grand Cherokee. <laughs> No, hey, extremely wrong. I can see it though. I can see why what? she thinks that. Not even a little. Does that no. look like a Grand Cherokee? Are you, okay, is drunk? it a Kia? No, it's a okay. BMW. Oh, never would have guessed that. Forgot about that brand. <laughs> Forgot about her. All right, fair All enough. Right, no points there. What is that? It's a BMW <sighs> X5. Mm. Damn, we have a fancy one next. Okay. That looks like Cruella Deville's car. <laughs> That's right. Call okay. I'm going to guess because it looks like the logo's red mm -hmm. that this is a Ferrari. Yes. Just kidding. <laughs> no? No, but that was a good guess. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even think you've ever heard of this brand. Oh, really? Yeah, it starts with a B. I'll well, I think you've heard of it. B? Mm, I don't know. She says, the, she's like, I think you've said the car before because people own them. <laughs> people own them. <laughs> wow. A the yeah a bentley no oh. but good guess damn it okay some of the rarest cars in the world is it oh. a they're really expensive oh don't know or <laughs> one of these like recent was one of these like recently like repoed from tate mm -hmm. uh yeah i think so actually is it well, a yeah. bu can i guess sure is it a bugatti it, oh yeah. a, a bugatti, bugatti. <laughs> a bugatti <laughs> it is a bugatti Yes. <laughs> All right. Bugatti um, spider car. <laughs> a spider uh, three, two. I don't even know what kind of Bugatti it is. Chiron? Ch yeah, Chiron? you're right. Damn. Chiron? Chiron? Chiron knows Chiron. her cars. That's one thing she really does yeah, know. Chiron. I, that's like the only one I know. A Sharona. Okay. A Sharona. All right, go Next ahead. Next, we have a truck. <laughs> okay, you can do this. Yeah, you got this. All right, let's look for her identifying features here. <laughs> <laughs> it does seem to have a grill and a bumper. <laughs> As four wheels, <laughs> four doors, folks. And a truck bed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Narrows it down. Let's mm -hmm. guess a Dodge Ram. Wrong and wrong, unfortunately. Damn. <laughs> unfortunately. All right, what is it? It is a Ford Raptor. Oh, Okay. Josh oh, drove I should one have of those guessed, for like a week. Yes, yeah. I that's did not I like thinking. it. That's I made the, him take that shit back. That's oh, the really? truck I was thinking. Yeah. I love Raptors. I think they're cool. Mm -mm. I've also never been in one, but. All right, you can get this I one. Should have this guessed one's that. good. Oh, okay. This is a, Volks, a Volkswagen Beetle. Whoa! Wow. That, that was amazing. fast. That was good. <laughs> Excellent work. All right, how about this one? Okay, that one. is an Outback. I mean, a Subaru Outback. Wow! Right? I'm Whoa. so proud of you. Well, it it, I can see out back here, but I swear I didn't see that before I said that, but it does say it in the corner, <laughs> oh. in the bottom. <laughs> oh. But I didn't know what that is. Okay. I live in Colorado, so. True. We yeah, see these a lot. literally everywhere. Okay. How about this one? That is a minivan. <laughs> sure is. Hmm. A Chrysler? Nope. <laughs> Murray Chrysler. Uh, a town and country? <laughs> no. <laughs> a what? <laughs> no, not a town and country. <laughs> town um, and countries aren't minivans. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> a Hyundai. Nope. So what is no. this? I don't know. It's a Honda I Odyssey. Oh, a Honda Odyssey. Right. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> They're nice. Okay. How about this one? God, I'm really sucking. How many points do I even have? Three. Three? Four, five. That's five. pretty good, dude. You're going to probably five? beat me and Crelly by a long shot. Yeah, I'm going to lose for sure. I was going to say, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little uh, mm. scared. scared. All right. What about this one? This is a, um, this is a Kia. <laughs> Stop. This is a. <laughs> really think about it. Pay attention. Look at the fucking car. <laughs> what am I supposed to know about it? <laughs> what? A. Damn. I don't know. An infinity. Nope. <clears throat> a Dodge. Nope. I don't know. A Ford. Nope. <laughs> I have no Want me idea. To give you one name? Yes. It starts with an M. A Mercedes? Correct. A Mercedes. G. Uh -huh. <laughs> is this my car? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Are you fucking serious? What you is it? It's like G. GLS. You didn't recognize that? No, sorry. I don't Ikea. even know what I drive, dude. I have no idea. You know you drive a Mercedes. Don't you know what it looks like? No, I just call it the Merc. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. 
<laughs> it's called a GLS. Yeah. Mm. A DCLR. Damn. I, what did I guess? This was a Kia. <laughs> <laughs> a Dodge. Dude, I'm truly clueless. <gasps> I just get in the awesome. car that Josh tells me I should drive. That is so fucking awesome. <laughs> okay, this next one I know. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is an Infinity. I don't know the model though. Infinity um G5. No. Like a G6. Like a G6. Not, 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 now I'm feeling This so is definitely an Infinity like though, a, right? It is definitely an Infinity. My Good dad job. drove this. I just don't remember. And this is one of your old cars. Isn't yes. It? <laughs> my dad passed it down to me. Isn't this what John drives? Yes. This is John's exact car. Okay. This is a picture Was it of the model John's that car. I drove? No, his is newer. Okay. Uh, model? Yes. Uh, I actually don't remember if it's for sure. I don't think yours had four wheel drive or all wheel drive. That no, it didn't. It came it from my grandpa in Florida. But it doesn't. That has. It's still the same model. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this is. You read. Uh, Infinity. G. 37. G37. This X. is an X. X just means all wheel. Okay. But yeah. Good job. At least I got the, the brand. Good job. Good job. Okay. How about this one? This is a Mini Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, it's not. I thought you were joking. It's a Mini. What is it then? <laughs> it's a smart car. Oh, yes. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I should have got that. Mini Cooper. But who makes smart cars? Smart. smart. Car. Oh, that's their brand is called Smart. Yeah, that's their own. So it's a thing. smart, I smart think. car. Wait, it's four two. Mercedes technic, uh, technically makes them. They took over the distribution. Uh, Feels like fun, like a little go kart. I, I know, right? They're so cute. They're, they're cute. so scary. I think yeah. they're actually really safe. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I randomly heard that they were actually I was gonna like, super say, safe. I can't imagine that if like you're in a car accident. I know it was, but mm -hmm. I seemed like you'd be crunched in there. Save a lot of gas. Yeah. Well, I think you can only go like ten miles. Well, down the actually, street. there's no there's no engine. It's like you know those little toy cars where so you, you stick like, your feet in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a manual. It like it's a Flintstone car. That's yeah, actually a manual. That's, they put a different name to that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, how about this one? Okay, this is definitely a Kia. Wow! <laughs> Good job. Thank you. What? A Kia. Don't know. No. No idea. It is a Kia Sportage. Oh, I have heard of the Sportage. Yeah. It does look very Sportage-y. Okay. Like a mom car? Mm-hmm. Like a mom sports car? Woo! Zipping around town. All right, this is a fun one. Look at that orange. This is the final one. This looks like, ooh, look how it's got like a rainbow effect on the the headlights. Mm hmm Indeed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I will guess. This is my dream car of all time. Okay, that helps me. I think it would. it's a Ferrari then. Close. I would take that too. Oh, this <laughs> is no. a Lamborghini. That's a Lamborghini. Oh, right. You do like that. That's so what is it about the Lamborghini that? I just think yeah, what is it? sexy. I don't know. I just have sexy. always liked them. What color? Like you, you want to have would, sex with it? Yeah, I'd fuck this car. <laughs> I would. <laughs> have you guys seen that my, that episode of My Strange Addiction? Where they no. fuck the car? Or he they fucks the car. Oh, yes, I do. I actually the, do remember like, this. Pipe. Yeah. Does he really do that? Yeah, he like makes love to his car. Oh. Like sweet nothing. Catch me doing that to a Lamborghini. Okay, what's my grand total? Okay, grand total is... Oh, what, kind of, what model is... A Ventador. She has no idea. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, wouldn't even know where to start. Okay, you got eight. Good seven. job. Out of how many? Eight? Like 10? Out of 24? Yeah. Well, uh, times... Yeah. So there's 12. Oh, there's 12? Yeah. So then 24. Good job. Okay. That's not 20, bad. Eight out of 24 is... An F. <laughs> yeah, well, technically, but it's a 33%. And awesome <laughs> i passed good job no you didn't but that's really okay good. well pretend i did you're probably gonna beat me dude so i'm proud of you okay We're i gonna... have faith i think you can, might be able to get some of these people okay. today's episode is brought to you by apostrophe and people i cannot tell you how much apostrophe has transformed my skin and i mean it 100 my skin looks so much better since i started using apostrophe and i'm so glad that i decided to try if you haven't heard of it, Apostrophe is an online platform that connects you with an expert dermatology team to get customized acne treatment for your unique skin. Through Apostrophe, you can get access to oral and topical medications that use clinically proven ingredients to help clear acne. And it's so easy. Simply fill out an online consultation about your skin goals, your medical history, then snap a few selfies and a board certified dermatologist will create your initial customized treatment. Apostrophe offers access to prescription treatments for all types of acne, from hormonal acne to facial acne, even back acne, chest acne, and butt acne. 
For a long time, my goal was just to clear my skin. I was dealing with really bad hormonal acne and I'm still working towards, you know, having no acne at all. I still get an occasional pimple here and there, but it is so much better than it used to be. And now I'm trying to focus more on brightening my skin, reducing wrinkles, improving my skin's texture. So I'm using a prescription cream through apostrophe. I'm using their sunscreen. And then I'm also taking an oral prescription. And I just love that it saves me time. I don't have to go into the dermatologist. I don't have to drive to the pharmacy and get my prescription. Everything is sent right to me. And I love that I get access to an expert derm team. And Apostrophe has a special deal for our audience. You can get your first visit today for only $5 at apostrophe.com slash sesh when you use our code sesh. That's a savings of $15. This code is only available to our listeners. To get started, just go to apostrophe.com slash sesh, click get started, then use our code sesh at sign up and you'll get your first visit for only $5. Thank you so much to Apostrophe for sponsoring today's episode. So now it's time for name that face. Let's go, baby. Who do we got first? Got this. Channing Tatum, Magic Mike, Jump Street. Damn. Damn. And that's all I know. That's good. Wow. That is good. a good start. Oh, yes. wait, are we going to let her name multiple movies as No, that is not. Oh, okay. Not yeah, enough. just she gets two points yeah. for that. If she knows who they are in a movie, they're in. Yes. I was going to say, you got to know Channing. Yes, I know who Chan Chan is. I did not know that's okay. what he actually looked like, though. Really? Yeah, I've never seen any of his movies. You should watch Jump Street. I love that free movie. It oh, is. Oh, boy. 21 Jump Street. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Never seen this person in my entire life. And I like the glitter in the hair, though. It's very giving, yeah. giving matching dress. Very. Um, you know Uptown Girls? No, is that a isn't that a song? That's a movie. Yeah, it is a uptown song. Girl. <laughs> She's been living in her uptown world. Who sings that? <laughs> I have no idea. Billy Joel. Okay, but anyway. I don't know what he looks like. Okay, <clears throat> not Billy Joel Cyrus. Billy Joel Cyrus, no. Curly, what are you saying <laughs> no, over what? there? <laughs> Billy Joel Cyrus? You mean Billy Ray Cyrus, <laughs> bro? No, that I can't even oh, no. respond. Cut that out and post. <laughs> No, keep it in. <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck, man. I have no idea. This just looks like this person in real life I used to know named. I feel like you might Amelia. be able to recognize a picture of her when she was younger. What? Yeah. Oh! She is... Fuck, what's her fucking name? Her name is... <laughs> Cindy Lou Who from The Grinch. <laughs> is that her? No. <laughs> that's Taylor Momsen. I thought that's who this was. No, that's not her. Okay, I have no fucking idea who this is. Who is it? Starts with a D. Dakota Fanning. Wow. <laughs> she got Wait, it. Is that actually Dakota? That's yeah. Dakota Fanning? See, I yeah. know. <laughs> well, that didn't count. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't I count. I know the names of people. I just don't know what they look like. Because mm. I've never seen movies. But that was, I, that I was hear good. people you talk got that about it. Past. Dakota Fanning. Dakota Fanning. Uptown Girls. Amazing movie. Okay. Makes me cry what though now. She I miss Brittany Murphy. Well, I am Sam. In. Man on Fire. No, yeah. See, I've never seen any of Coraline. these. Coraline. Fuck no. Okay. You better get this next one. All right. Or I'm going to literally throw up and leave. Oh, okay. Who is this that? This is Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> and he played in the Titanic and doesn't date anyone who is older than 25. Is that right? <laughs> I don't know. Wasn't that like the fucking... Talk of the town a few months back. Oh, the talk of the town. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't heard that rumor. Yeah, that he only dates young people. Hmm. What do you live under a rock? This was like a big thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're one to say. <laughs> All right. I'm proud of you. You Thank got that. Thank you very much. You got that. Okay. Kate Winslet. No. Fuck. Oh, I thought it was too. She plays in 27 dresses. Yeah, but she's not Kate Winslet. <laughs> <laughs> Close though, um, on the right track. Mm, I don't know. Kate. Kate. Well, she doesn't really go by. Catherine. Yeah. Catherine. Mm-hmm. Oh. Catherine. Heigl. Yes. That's, the person? that's her. Yes, we're good for you. You don't me. get the point because you missed it. You thought she was Kate Winslet, yeah. but that's good enough. Okay. I thought it was. And some... you knew 27 Dresses. I've seen that movie. It's a good movie. It is a good movie. She's also from Grey's Anatomy. Oh, okay. And my other favorite movie. What's my favorite movie? Um, she stars in it. Knocked Up. Yep. She stars in it. That's Very right. good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. The fuck? The hottest man. This looks man like on that Earth. one guy from Big Brother. Years <laughs> he back. does. He is the hottest man. 
I have never seen this person. And he's not the hottest man. Just <laughs> FYI. FYI. You're wrong. He's got the shaggy man look, though. I love the shaggy man look. Totally. You, don't, you don't want to just, like, climb on top of him? I didn't say I didn't want to, but he's not the hottest man. But he's hot. I'd do him. I'd do him on top of my Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> he's really tall. Even the, better. Okay, the taller, his the name better. starts with a J. Maybe you can at least guess the name. <laughs> Justin... <laughs> Trudeau. <laughs> Wait, why was I thinking that literally? <laughs> okay, wrong. Wait, isn't that the never Canadian pick guy? The last name. Isn't that the Canadian? That's the Canadian president. president. Yeah. Yeah. That's not him. <laughs> no, that's not him. <laughs> Imagine that was the Canadian president. That'd Damn, be sick. That'd be lit as fuck. Representing well. I, I like his no necklace. Here. Yeah, his that necklace is, is lit. Looks like some expensive crystals. I have no idea who this man is. You want me to give it away? Yeah. Jason Momoa. What? That's a fake person. Just like freaking um, walking on whatever his name is. Walk, walking Phoenix. That guy's fake too. Okay. Fake. Walking Phoenix. What's this, right. what's this guy's name? Jason Momoa. Jason Malmoa. No. Momoa. No. Momoa. What's he from again? Um, Aquaman. Aquaman. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen that. Wasn't he in um uh that one show? Yeah, um, that one show definitely. Mm, yeah, uh, Game of, wasn't he in Game of Thrones or is that somebody else? I think he. He looks like a Game of Thrones type of guy. <laughs> I don't know. I gave up on that show after a few episodes. What's that one Girl Scout cookie? That's coconut. Samoa. Samoa. Mm. This is Jason Samoa. Mm. <laughs> Samoa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, definitely, he sells Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> He's the best Girl Scout there is. Okay, <laughs> next up. Next up. Y'all are trying to fuck with me. I have no idea. <laughs> How am I supposed to know who this person is? This probably isn't even famous. That other guy wasn't famous either. To give you credit, I don't know who this person is. Thank you. I don't recognize her. I have no idea who this person is. Literally no idea. I smashed you guys. It's Zoe Saldana. What is she in? She was in... A bunch of fake actors. <laughs> <laughs> who oh, is... She's in Westworld. I just know that that's one of our most recent ones. Oh, I haven't seen that. I heard it's really good, though. It is, oh, yeah. she's an avatar? Oh, she's an avatar. Well, that's not yeah. helpful because they don't even look like themselves in Avatar. Mm -hmm. I feel like she looks like her. Fair enough. Yeah, I haven't seen anything with her in it. I don't like Avatar. What? Oh, what? Too long. Who's this? Isn't this just a younger picture of Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not okay, not going to lie. He does look like, very similar. Like, literally he Leonardo does. DiCaprio no, 20 years past. literally pass. not. <laughs> no, come on. Who is that? No. <laughs> Starts with an M. Oh, frick. Oh, oh, my God. This guy, I think, was in an episode of Will and Grace one time. Fuck, what's his name? I have no idea what's his name. Was he really? I'm going to find out right now. I think. He's in, like, some really large movies. It, <laughs> like, this one-off episode of Will and Grace. <laughs> they didn't even credit him at the end. <laughs> no, they did, but I don't know. Maybe he wasn't, if it's not the Oh, he name. was. Boom, baby. Season four. Yeah, season four. A chorus line. Yes. The episode. Yep. Is that one point, though? Yeah. yeah. What's he in? She yeah. gets a point. Yeah. He's at in least an episode for... of Will and Grace. I have no idea. What's his name? He also played in Jason Bourne. I don't know. I've seen that in my life. Ooh, um, what's his name? MD. He's Matt Damon? There you that's go. That's Matt Damon? Wait, that's <laughs> Matt Damon. Wait, that's actually Matt Damon? Yes. Shut up. That's Matt Damon? Shut up. Shut up. It's not. It is. That's Matt it Damon. It is not. I thought he was older. Same. Okay, I think you can get this next one. You should Matt be able Damon. to. She's so recognizable. Matt Damon. Who's that? Oh, she is in Just Go With It. Yes. And her name is... Okay, wait, <laughs> I really do know this. Fuck, come on. You come definitely on. know this. Fuck. What was her name in that movie? I believe in you. They called Devlin. her. Yeah. Devlin. Yeah, a Devlin. Devlin McAvee. <laughs> yes. Why do I know? Why do I fucking know this? <laughs> Fuck, what's her name? Mm. I know her name. I really do. Oh. Really doesn't know I'll either. give you the first letter if you okay, you can get half a point if you okay. get it. N. Ah. N. Na. 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 Yeah, her name is Na. Na <laughs> Na. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I know her name. It's just making. I'm just anxious. Okay. <sighs> For a fourth of a point. <laughs> uh, N. K. N K. Mm -hmm. How do you even pronounce? No, her last name starts with a K. <laughs> oh, okay. Fuck. Come on. Sorry, not for me to scream. Mm. Is it who is she married to? Oh. Again? That country. I'm can't believe I'm gonna give yeah, this up. Yeah, she's married to Keith Urban, right? Mm -hmm. 
I or Kenny Chesney. I always get no, them either. confused. <laughs> Keith Urban. Aww. I have no idea who this is either. I know who this is. I just... <sighs> Nicole... Nicole Kidman. Fuck Kidman. Me. Kid Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Kidman. At least you, you got Devlin. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Devlin McAvee. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Who's hey. this? Easy ones. Come on. I don't know. Just a guess. You know? Denzel Washington. No. Knew you were gonna guess that. <laughs> I think that was my other game that we played the first time. <sighs> okay, it starts with an I. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, I mm-hmm. don't know. <laughs> um, he's a very unique name. Oh, then I'll never get it. And he's a very yeah. cool person. Yes. Don't know anything. You start in either. No, I, no, he doesn't look familiar to me. Okay, this is Idris Elba. I, I would know who that never is. Yeah, gotten she, that. What is he no in? A lot of things. Okay, who's this though? Is this one she she I know she's gonna get this. I believe in you. This is I know she's in. She's in that A movie where she like walks around with an A on okay, her. Okay, so you get one point. Easy yep, A yep, or what is it yep, called? Yep. Mm-hmm. I wanna say La La Land. Ugh. Never seen it. I've never seen it either. Well, it's a little boring, no offense. It very I wanna say something with the Z. No. Frick. I don't know. Frick. <laughs> Initials are E S. E S. E S E S E S E S. Emma Stone. Correct. Yes. Okay. Half a point for that. E S. Okay. Emma Stone from Easy A. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No idea. Dude. What? <laughs> what? I have to disown you for that. You really don't know who that is. Uh, that, it looks like every other old man in the world. I think. What? Are you, you kidding are, me? Are you <laughs> kidding me? How do you not know who this person is? I have is? literally no idea who this. I have. N- I'm with I, all of you guys. She's faking it. <laughs> She's faking it. I this swear, how do you not know this? I swear on Charlie's life that just by looking at this <laughs> no, picture, I have no she idea. She is actually stupid. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> no, just kidding. She knows no. one of the smartest people I know, but no. not when it comes to people. No, 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 not smart. I have no fucking idea. What was the end? Oh, so many things. What's this? What's this initial? <clears throat> G, G C, G C. <laughs> Dude, it's unbelievable. Like everyone in the world Shut knows who up. this is. I swear to God. You know who he looks like a little bit. Who? He looks like um that case that we did a while ago. Uh, the oh, doctor. Oh yeah, Paolo. Paolo. Oh, Paolo. 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 Mar- 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 Jared's dad says he looks like him. Like Jared dad thinks. Jared kind of looks like him. Jared might look what? like him when he's older. Wait, you, you think Jared crack. looks like him? No, Jared's dad thinks. That's his like brother doppelganger. Yeah, dude, oh. I don't freaking know. No, what the hell? Is I've his seen name? his dad. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. What the hell is his name? Of course, he thinks he looks like him. <laughs> George Clooney. What? Tell you... me you've at least heard that name. I thought he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Are you serious? No, I thought he George was... Clooney is he not just came out dead. With a new movie with Julia Roberts. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty cute. That's George Clooney. Yes. What the hell is George Clooney even in? Oh, so many things, dude. God, his I've favorite never seen movie. I'm them. like drawing a blank on what it's called. Ugh. Up, up in the, the air. The one, no, the one in Hawaii. Up dude, in, I have never seen any of these freaking movies. No, it's um. Well, it's actually a few years old now. George, The Clooney. Descendants, such a good movie. One of my oh, favorite yeah. movies ever. That's a good movie. That's I've never George watched Clooney. Movies. Yep. All right. Damn, How many feel, points did she get? I feel so fucking dumb. Six point <laughs> five. <laughs> What is it? 6.5. And Kendall oh, got eight. damn. Fuck. Yeah. Told you I'm going to lose. Damn, I thought you would do better. No, dude, I'm really stupid. There were some in there that I thought were dead giveaways. I am telling you. Yeah. George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> God <laughs> damn it, George. Everyone thinks that George Clooney is like the hottest thing on earth, right? Mm-hmm. He is a, he's cute. Yeah, you know he's who cute. I think is the hottest For thing on earth? We already know who the hottest Dennis thing on earth Quaid. is. Mr. Quaid. Okay, other than Dennis. Who? I thought it was Seth and Mr. Seth. Yeah, yes. and Seth. We know Sethy. We love Seth. Imagine I if love Seth, Seth came Rogan. on the show. I would pass out. Right. I wouldn't be able to function enough to interview. I just interview. watched a movie with him last night, actually. he It's like a new movie on Netflix. But he looks like really... It's mm. actually really good. Wait, mm. you like Dennis... Den- <laughs> yeah, Dennis, like Dennis Quaid. Quaid. Like, actually? How do you not yeah. know this about me? This is a major fact. Yeah, really? a major fact. Oh, so I've like, got the hots for Dennis and have for many years. I, mean, I think Dennis is hot, too. What? I do Dennis. You do yeah, Dennis? Like, but not Dennis? like... 
Dennis now. Like, yeah. Dennis <laughs> during parent the trap. parent trap. Dennis? Yeah. Cowboy Dennis. I say even now. Why not? Ryan he's Vineyard still Dennis. Dennis. He's, he's still, still hot in the parent trap. He's still uh, Dennis. Yeah. Oh, he's still hot to me. Yeah. He just yeah. was hotter back then. Sure. Mm. Well, I, never, I never was into that man. I love Dennis that Quaid. Man. And he's got a great personality to match. Yeah. He's like such a nice guy. Hmm. Nice guy. Good face. All right, Curly, you're on the chopping block now, girl. Oh, no, I'm scared. You should be. In the be. spirit of the NFL. All right, here we go, right. folks. All right, name that team and where they're from. Oh, no. This is the uh, the Cleveland centerpieces. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have to actually try. No. You know there's not a centerpieces. <laughs> um, the Cleveland... <laughs> Cats or like wild cats. <laughs> cats. <laughs> the Cleveland Jaguars. They Cleveland all run on the, this field and they go meow meow. <gasps> no, you were wrong on both. Cleveland. No. Mm -mm. The Chicago. Mm -hmm. Chicago but Bears. Wow. Oh, wow. Pretty good. Oh, wow. No points though because yeah, no you points. got it wrong first. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, good job. Okay, I know this one. Go ahead. This one's the Patriots. From yes. where? This is a tough one. The East Coast. Yes, where? Mm, not a state. New Zealand. I mean, oh, no, 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 no. That did not mean to come out of my mouth. New Hampshire. <laughs> the New Hampshire Patriots. <laughs> Incorrect. New England. Yes. yes, good job. Okay, that's exactly what I meant. Okay. okay. You, you get, get one, point. one point. Oh, no. I have, I'm going to have no idea who this is. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> mm, I can. Come is this on. A, is this, a, this is a real team? Yes. <laughs> Eliminated I don't even... pretty recently. What? Eliminated pretty recently from the Honestly, playoffs. that means nothing to me. Yeah, I know. I don't even know why I said that. Um, The Bolts from... <laughs> the Bolts. The Bolts. <laughs> the thun like the Thunderbolts. Like the Bolts for the short. The Thunderbolts, okay. From... I'm thinking like Virginia. This one's hard because they kind of moved around recently. Oh, it's just, so it's a California team. Oh, uh, yeah. Right now it is. Okay. The... The bolts from Oakland. <laughs> Wrong. The Oakland bolts. <laughs> Who's no. this? It is the Los Angeles Chargers. Oh, that's the Chargers now. That's the yeah. Chargers. Wait, did their did their logo change? Nope. Mm -mm. It's always been. It used to be a charging block, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Stop for a second. I thought you were for real. <laughs> the Chargers. Wait, the Chargers. This, so this has been the Chargers this entire time. Yeah. yeah. That's been them. Wow, I did not know that. Okay, who's that? This is pretty <clears throat> obvious, okay, right? I know this one because my neighbor is obsessed with them. The okay. San Fernan San Francisco <laughs> San, <laughs> Fran no, no, no. <laughs> San Francisco 49ers. Good job. Good. Okay. I that Two one. points. Good job. Not bad. San Fernando. <laughs> they also lost yesterday. I know. Bummer. Oh, I know. Sad. Bummer. I was really bad. Fuck the Eagles. Anyways. Okay, anyways. This is the Cowboys from Where do Cowboys come from? <laughs> they come from Texas. Okay. Do you have to guess the city? Mm -hmm. It's either Dallas or Houston. Wrong on both. <laughs> Wait, really? No, yeah, it's not San the Cowboys. San Antonio? It's not the Cowboys either. <laughs> what? This is... <laughs> this is fucking awesome. But, I mean, that's an educated guess. <laughs> well, I thought because it's a horseshoe. Right. That's an educated yeah. guess. Oh, the that Cowboys are the star. Sorry. What? Right. What's another yeehaw area? <laughs> <laughs> yeehaw area. <laughs> Peyton Manning played on this team. Oh, uh, who? Do you know who Peyton Manning? Come is? on! <laughs> no, you don't know where he came from. The Peyton, I know Peyton Manning was on Broncos for a while. He was? Yeah, but yeah. where did he come from? Where he, did we snatch him from? Um, the Yeehaw. The Yeehaw. Um, the so Yeehaw State. Is it Kansas? No, that's a different one. I think that's the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm -hmm. Um, honestly, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> He's or it's better. <laughs> <laughs> what? My guess is better than hers. <laughs> yeah, it's better. No. Nothing? You give up? Um, yeah, I give up. Indianapolis? Is this from Indiana? Okay, so what? That is a horseshoe. What oh. does that go on? A horse. No. Well, yes. But what else? What other names? The Colts. Woo! Oh! The Colts! The Colts oh, wow. from Indianapolis? Yep. That's right. Mm -hmm. I did not even know if they had a team. <laughs> sure do. They do. Nice. Sure do. Oh, All I right. know this one for sure. Okay. okay. This is the Saints. Wow. From New... No. From Louisiana. New Orleans. Yes. Yes. Good job. Good. Good. Two yeah. points for that. That's Adam's, not bad. Adam's mom is obsessed. She's in Louisiana. Okay. You should be able to get this next one. Oh, yeah. This one because Emily was wearing a shirt. 
Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> yes. Nice. They're going to the Super Bowl. Oh, nice. Do you know who they're playing in the Super Bowl? Well, uh, just making an educated guess based on what Kendall said earlier mm. today, <clears throat> it's an eagle. Yeah. Okay. An eagle. <laughs> okay, let's just it's keep going. The Eagles. <laughs> yep. Eagles versus the Chief. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I'm going for both of them. Okay. This is, um, it's a Falcon. Very good. Is it the Falcons? Yes. The Falcons, yep. From New York. Nope. No, come on. You know New York from Janelle. Well, actually, they have oh. three teams. Oh, oh that's I, true. Oh, I thought those were all like baseball teams. I fucking hate baseball. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. The Falcons um, from... From... Um, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. They don't have a team, no. unfortunately. Give up? I give up. Atlanta. Oh, yeah. No, I would have known. That's all right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. This one's pretty easy. This one is easy. I don't know where they're from, but I know they're called the Panthers. Good job. Mm-hmm. I thought they were from... They're kind of like a two-state team. Almost. I thought they oh, were... that's a big hint. I thought they were, um like, same as uh, Patriots. No. Not th- that area? Much no. further south. Oh, South Carolina. <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> uh, no, but close. North Carolina. There you go. Mm-hmm. They the Carol- represent both pretty much, though. It's the Carolina Panthers. The yeah. Carolina Panthers. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean now. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. Oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the wings. No, Come on. <laughs> think really hard. The okay, red card. wings. What did we just talk about? <laughs> <laughs> did you say red wings? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We just talked about this. We just talked about it. Literally Today? 30 seconds ago, we talked about <laughs> no, it. No, stop. The we bear. talked about it. It's a very big deal right now. Oh, the eagles. The eagles. <laughs> and where are the eagles from? Where do they fly from? <clears throat> fly eagle. Go birds. Go birds. That's going to be me. God, you hate them. That's I just new... think that. I didn't know you also hated the Eagles. You hate everyone. <laughs> no, but... I, I really just hate the Patriots, the Cowboys. The Eagles are just like kind of annoying. No <clears throat> offense, Eagles fans. Y'all get real crazy when I say that. Mm. Are the Eagles from? They're also like a rivalry. So are you going for the Chiefs then? Uh, I am because I guess. Niners lost. Mm. I mean, I'm not really. I think I'm gonna go for the Chiefs too. Patrick oh, Mahomes is kind of. Is this Austin Mahomes team? Patrick Mahomes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Josh was telling me he's a good old boy. <clears throat> he's fine. His fam. His brother's more annoying. <clears throat> he's a family man. I don't know. Okay. Not much about him. I don't really care that much. All right. Okay. So Come they're on. from um, Arizona. No. No. <sighs> nice no, skip. Philadelphia. Oh. Yep. Philadelphia that? Eagles. Okay, so what is this sitting explained okay, to us? Okay, so the bonus. All three of you guys. Okay, I like this. I have to guess. I don't know anything about hockey. Wait, before we start, what was her point total? Oh, and because these are with the additional one points, eight nine. Oh, but like you, because you got the what's it called mascot or whatnot. Wow, wow. she beat us both. <laughs> It's embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god. What was my score? Well, Crowley wins. Six Yours was like five. six. Mine was eight. Mine was okay. I Damn won by it. a point. Mm. I knew I was gonna fucking lose. Well, it's, this you're, crap. it's like you either got the name of the team or the I feel like I feel like Janelle's was a little harder to get double points in. I'll give you that. Mm. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> I think mine was pretty hard. Okay, wait, what is this bonus <clears throat> here? Tell me who like what team this is. Um, I don't know anything about hockey. I don't know. They're the Literally. Sharks. I couldn't name yeah. a single hockey player. I'd have to guess the Sharks. Wait. I mean, I can't even their really logo. see what's going Ontario. on. Okay, I'm going to say <laughs> the Toronto Sharks. The Predators. No. Wait. <laughs> is that is that a team? Maybe. I feel like that is, I feel like that is a Predators? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with the South Carolina Sharks. Toronto I said, Sharks. I said what? I said Toronto Sharks. Toronto. I said Ontario Sharks. Okay, this is the San Jose Sharks <laughs> from San Jose. California. Oh. <laughs> no idea. Never okay. seen that in my life. Okay, okay we I got didn't... one more guess question. This Red Wings. Oh, this is the Red Wings. Dude, I didn't fucking know. I was gonna guess something with Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Red Wings. Uh, and they're from uh, Albuquerque. New Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> then where they got ice. <laughs> they got ice everywhere. They have ice in Dubai. It's the Dubai Red Wings. <laughs> <laughs> Albuquerque Red Wings. <laughs> the Atlanta Red Wings. I said the 
Detroit Red Wings. Um, Corelli, correct. What? Detroit Red Wings? What? Yeah. Wow. Good job, Corelli. Oh, wow. Who would have thought? <laughs> I'm even blushing a little bit. Wow. Damn. Corelli, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, Very guys, good. I love hockey. It's my favorite sport. Good for mm. you, Kay. Yeah. I actually do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I actually do. I love hockey. Okay. But yeah, there you go. That's some fun games today. Yeah. Wow. Corelli wins. Good wow. job, Corelli. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'm going to ride good. this out for a while. Okay. I'm going to tell all my friends that I know all the football. Teams. Well, yeah. I think you could brush up on some of them. Could you name <laughs> um, any current NFL player? Absolutely Anyone. not. Anyone. 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 <sighs> Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. No. no. <laughs> He's been gone for a while. <laughs> Peyton Manning. Um, Come on. Who does Janelle hate? Come on. Oh, uh, Tim Allen. <laughs> no, Tim no, no, Allen, no. bro. Stop. <laughs> no, I'm not. I know. I know that I hate this fucker. You hate him too. Yes, I do. Is it Tim Tebow? No. <laughs> he had like a one-off career for five seconds. Yeah. Okay. Um, that was a fun time. Tebow time. Remember yeah, that? It's Tebow time. <laughs> Come on. Mm. You can do it. Um, Dennis Quaid. No, I, I honestly have no idea. I don't have Stop. any idea. That was just my little goofy guess. Um, Tom? Bra oh, Tom Brady? Yeah. yeah. Oh. His bitch ass is still playing. I thought he was... I thought Dude, he was People Come think on. that he might go play for the fucking Raiders. I know I heard that. <laughs> I'm like, dude, give it up. How I old know. is he? Old. And I'm like, why do you need to keep playing? We all know you're the best fucking NFL player to ever exist. Why do you Ew. need to keep playing? This is him. Well, now he gave up everything for it. So yeah, got this nowhere is Tom, to go. This is Tom Brady. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's scary looking. People think he's hot. Oh, Ugh. I'm not gonna lie. I think he's good looking. Right. You think not he like my type, but I do think he's good looking. You know who I think is really hot. He doesn't even play anymore, but Greg Olson, I think, is the hottest NFL player. Mm, Greg. I gotta look this guy up. Olsen? He's so sexy, and sometimes he used to, like, it would rain. Oh, he is hot. Oh, yeah, he in is. The rain. He is yeah. hot. He was announcing last night. I also liked... Uh, I think Joe Burrow's What hot. was that other Carolina player? Uh, Luke. Luke. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He was hot, too. Anyway, what do you think of the um, Bengals, dude? Joe Burrow, that's what I just said. Yeah, yeah. He's, hot. You think he's hot? Yeah. He's not really mm. my type. Still so too, like, pretty. Wait, type it. I like I the rugged men. Oop. Joe Burrow. But I think he's good looking. I see what people are saying. He's got a great fashion sense. Does he? Really? Yeah. Excellent. He's had some really good Oh, outfits. he's cute. Yeah. Very cute. He's very cute. He's, yeah, he's, he's better boy. looking than Tom Brady? Oh, uh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, I would yes. agree. Also, because he's, like, half his age. <sighs> okay, this has been a shit show of an episode. Yeah, no, Tom Brady is number one for the hottest player. Don't yeah, see it. He does people. look like he could be a model. You can't lie. Tom Brady? He could be in the modeling industry. Yeah. Brady's? Mm -hmm. Like I said, he's not my type, but I don't he's think... a good looking dude. See, oh. Janelle just hates him, dude. so she can't see past No, that. I can't. I hate his ass so much. <laughs> you know who Russell Wilson is? Isn't that serious? Don't look it up. Uh, Do you know what he plays for? No. Corelli. You live really close to him. Oh, he's a Denver Bronco. Woo! Oh, that's, that is Sierra's man. That's mm. Sierra's husband. Yeah, that's I right. mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he sucks. Yeah, he yeah. sucks. Choke. Wait, does he really? We've been yeah, calling yeah. him Choke Wilson sucked. the whole season. It's and so I funny. called it. She really did. Like, <laughs> when they first signed his ass. <laughs> everyone was like, oh my God, Broncos country's back. Cool. Josh and John were so excited Let's for the go. new season. Let's ride. Josh had him on like every fantasy. He does multiple fantasy teams. He had him on all of them. And Janelle called it early. This guy's gonna, he's gonna choke. He's gonna be awful. She coined the term choke Wilson. We've been calling him that this whole time. <laughs> and wow, did he live up to it? That's right, baby. The dude sucks. That's right. He's just weird. Oh. <laughs> he's and we're stuck with him for what five years? Something yeah, like that. And oh. they're paying like two hundred and thirty million dollars to he's suck. Not even, <laughs> he's not even that attractive. Sierra could have done better. I agree. I, I mean, I'm attractive. just grateful that Sierra lives in Colorado. Me too. I honestly, yeah. uh, at I least we got that out her. of the deal. Yeah, I want to bump into her so bad. And talented. Mm -hmm. I'm manifesting. Mm -hmm. I love her. I love her. She's hot as fuck. Anyways, that's it. Hope you learned something about sports today. This is a sports podcast now. Yep. <laughs> Next <laughs> week. Excellent coverage. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, we'll be discussing basketball. The, mm -hmm. <laughs> what is that? NBA. Right. The playoffs of the NBA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the Colorado um, yeah, Nuggets. basketball team? Yeah, the Nuggets. Great. No, I do like basketball. I oh, like basketball okay. and I like baseball and hockey if I go once in a while. Mm. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm saying I like them is a little giving me too much credit. I but. like, my favorite thing about baseball is the baseball the snaps. pants. Mm. Oh, I like, they have good butts. I was going to say the dipping Dots. The, oh, that yeah. as well. 
Mm. The pretzels. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, Hot this dogs. has been your weekly sesh sports segment. Mm. Sport zone. Sport zone. Sesh sports zone. All right, guys, that is it for us today. Thanks for joining us for this shit show of an episode. Woo! Um, Give us your thoughts below about yeah. Michaela. We are interested in just yeah. advertising in general. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You think it's people should be able to just kind of lie and do whatever? Or do you think it's <laughs> kind of held accountable? I think people should be able to lie and do whatever. <laughs> Fuck it! <laughs> At this point. Fuck it! Everything's fake. I mean, it's low-key true. At this point. To a degree. God. Craziest thing I've seen in so long. Yeah. All right, well, that's it. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you on the next sesh. But until until then, then, keep keep it fresh. fresh.